Hello everybody, I'm Ben McCain, along with retired police officer Sean McGee. Sean is going to be sharing with us the details of the Onion Field crime story that began right here at Gower and Carlos here in Los Angeles. Be watching for this profile on Channel 101 in Time Warner Cable's Video On Demand. On a winter night in 1963, Hollywood Division officers Ian Campbell and Carl Hedinger stopped a car for a routine traffic violation at the intersection of Gower and Carlos, not far from the Hollywood sign. In the car were driver Gregory Eulis Powell and Jimmy Lee Smith. The two were casing the block for a planned robbery on Hollywood Boulevard. And the object of, uh, of their robbery was this, what is now a strip mall, and was a pharmacy that night in 1963. Powell pulled a gun on Campbell and ordered Hedinger to surrender his gun to Smith. Give me the gun, the gun, give me the gun, or he dies. Now gun's on you. Do you feel that you would be fast enough to go to a holster and get a gun and shoot too before your partner or you will both be shot? It's, it's not feasible. The situation that Carl Hedinger was in was he was bargaining for the life of his partner and he made a split-second decision, life-and-death decision, that moment. The events that transpired became known as the Onionfield murder. Could you imagine the terror that they felt when they were taken hostage and driven over two hours from this location to an onion field to be executed? Officer Campbell was killed. Hedinger managed to escape. The two suspects were captured within a day. To this moment, I still do. I, I feel kind of an un, just an unsettling feeling, knowing what happened and having worked in the same capacity as those officers in uh, in a, uh, a plain clothes and in a plain car. LAPD policy was changed as a result of these events. You have a shootout on the corner, and let the chips fall where they may. But you absolutely, under no circumstances, ever surrender your weapon. I'm Ben McCain, reporting from Hollywood.